Yes, guys, we are finally back. We finally made it to the very first out of two reactions. I'll be jumping on this uh, YouTube platform. So, welcome to this uh, BRBPTV. Be real. <laughs> be positive, right there, brothers and sisters. Big up all yourself for definitely tuning into this here uh, vibrations. And don't forget to do what? Uh, click the like button. Of course, I will help the algorithm to push these videos further and further out there. So, definitely click the like button, guys. And don't forget to subscribe and turn on that post notification so you can get the latest vibrations as I tend to drop them right there. Click subscribe, click the bell, and click all. And of course, when you subscribe, helping this year channel to grow further and further in that regard right there and of course you'll be notified when i drop my videos of course the next one will be no mr Lick's reaction and guys that link when i drop it will be in the first comment in the comment box below guys so you can definitely check it out right there big up to everybody watch the vlogs and stuff and big up to everybody who was on the vibrations right there of course you got to experience some of the vibrations that i got to experience myself some of you guys tend to say hey mr Lick's, we are here with you man when you do the videos, you are here with you. So I appreciate every single one of you guys coming along on the Mr. Lick's Vlogs channel right there, guys. Travel vlogs, whatever it is. Big up on yourself right there in that regard. There's another video I'll be dropping soon. Yeah, it's not it's not completed. But I'll be dropping another one on the Mr. Lick's Vlogs. I think, yes, the, tomorrow or, or, or the next day. Whichever, brothers and sisters. But of course, let us get into the vibrations for today. Right there, brothers and sisters. As you can see, there's something rather interesting that I saw. It was a screenshot that was sent to me. And apparently, I think they're talking about the NEP program right there. And apparently, for based off what the NEP, uh, the individuals from the NEP are saying, they are apparently including rent. Uh, the government don't care. I mean, we have been saying this for quite some time. And of course, based off the next reaction I'll be doing a bit later on, there's a YouTuber who came to Dominica and he dubbed Dominica, uh, well, in the, he dubbed Portsmouth the worst city in the Caribbean, brothers and sisters. We've got to be reacting to that. So definitely tune in for that vibrations right there. But of course, there, this, is, this has been something that has been indicated to us for a long time now, brothers and sisters, indicating that the government does not care. It doesn't seem like the government cares at all when it comes down to the people, to the economy, to the country as a whole. They don't care at all. Of course, we heard that there was a raise going on where it was about $700 for NEP workers, but apparently it seems like somebody's asking if it's $500 a fortnight because they cannot believe you're getting $500 a month. They're asking if it's fortnight every two weeks, fortnight every two weeks right there no this person is saying no a month this person is saying ultimate madness the audacity of incredible madness 500 dollars you get in for a month brothers and sisters 500 dollars a fortnight is crazy but for a month <laughs> yeah, yeah, that is truly something else right there brothers and sisters but of course this person is saying madness and this individual is saying yes i need it i need help it hurts to know I can't even take a loan to be able to pay my to help myself and i am working that's something that i also tell people a number of persons always say oh politics this and politics that brothers and sisters there's something rather interesting i must point out i'll come back to this in a moment brothers and sisters but there's something i must point out right there where is it this is it right there and i must point it out to everybody because apparently people don't seem to learn just because you do not take an interest in politics ah let me read that again just because you do not or think that you do not care to have an interest in politics doesn't mean politics won't take an interest in you, brothers and sisters. People always think pot politics is, is, is party. No, brothers and sisters, that is partisan. That have nothing to do with politics, brothers and sisters. People are trying their best to see if they can take certain positions within the community as the, the helm or the head of, of, of society to then run things on a political reasoning, brothers and sisters. So, whether you want to be involved in politics or not, you will definitely be involved in politics. This is why it's so important that when you have the choice to make a difference, brothers and sisters, you are keeping people in positions that are causing chaos. This is why it's so important when election reaches, brothers and sisters, when you have the ability to do something, you do something, don't make people pay you $500, or you can take the $500, you know, guys, but make sure you go and vote them out because it's your money they're giving you. You don't realize this is your money they're giving you, which is rather interesting right there. Just because you do not take an interest in politics doesn't mean politics won't take an interest in you. It will definitely take an interest in you on how the hospitals have been run. That is politics, brothers and sisters. The chaos we face in the hospital is as a real result of people not taking on the responsibility of putting policies in the right places to ensure that the hospital or keeping the promises that of which they stated that they will be doing. Which is interesting, brothers and sisters, because we have this, we have the ongoing culture of those. Hey, alas, what happened? What happened to our hospitals? Hey, alas, there's nothing in our hospital, brothers and sisters. This has been going for over ten years. 
10 years, brothers and sisters, and we keep voting because there's party during election time. We come and see more. You see one, then you're crying afterwards, brothers and sisters. This is very interesting. Let me read that again. Just because you do not take an interest in politics doesn't mean politics won't take an interest and you will take a heavy interest. This is why we are here today, brothers and sisters. This is politics. When people set up policies to at least bring up your salaries for you, means I mean, at least $700 a month. My God. Ay, ay, ay. Oh, my goodness gracious. Brothers and sisters, then back in the day, but well, let me leave that. Let me leave that, brothers and sisters. Um, so these people are tending to say, Elas, yes, I need help. It hurts to know I can't even take a loan, Mark Wissa. You cannot even get a proper salary for you to take a loan. <laughs> because you're probably the amount you asking for, they will realize, hey, your salary is too low for you to be able to pay, but pay that back plus interest. Imagine that. Brothers and sisters, sometimes I've heard that certain nurses cannot even get loans. They need to be married so that two salaries can come together so individuals can come together to make it happen interesting this person is saying yes i need help and it hurts to know that this individual can even take a loan to be able to help themselves and this individual is working the person replies that slave money we yes brother that is true when slaves used to work they used to make they used to get a piece of land for them to be able to build a house a, a shack and have a little garden so they can be, make their own food that is the same thing just that you're getting paid in finance to build it yourself boy that is something else we to come to think of it brothers and sisters back in the day you work hard you break your back and they give you land for you to sustain yourself so you can do the work for them today they are giving you mediocre salary <laughs> and you have to break your back for you to be able to go and get the house and the land for you to be able to build your fruits and stuff so you can survive and you're doing this on five hundred dollars a month yes i need help this individual saying it hurts to know i can't even get a loan to be able to help myself and i am indeed working this individual saying that slave money we yes definitely slave money right there brothers and sisters i would really like to know what our salary is because cozia frederick said to me it is supposed to be eight hundred dollars right there well i heard it was seven or no, maybe they're bringing it up to eight but you're getting five hundred dollars that's what they're paying you and you guess what guys you have to take it <laughs> you have to take it because five hundred dollars is better than zero dollars so they pimping you and you're making noise and sometimes you stay quiet because you do not want to lose your five hundred dollars but that is a conundrum in itself we they tell you supposed to get eight hundred dollars they pay you five hundred dollars if you go there and make noise you might end up losing your job so it's better you stay quiet and take the five hundred dollars the five hundred dollars that barely doing something for you you talking about going to even take a loan to help yourself ah mark Wisa. well is that is what you want brothers and sisters that is what you chose for yourself by constantly voting for people who are not helping you. It's interesting, brothers and sisters, because we'll be talking about that in the next reaction. There was a YouTuber that came down to bring forth that information of interest. Talking about Portsmouth is the worst city in the Caribbean, brothers and sisters. The stronghold of the Labour Party. The Labour Party is in government and Portsmouth has been neglected time and time and time again, brothers and sisters. And they still oh they still voting for the very people that keeping them down and they know it <laughs> ay, ay, ay. this of course is dale dr dale dangerben brothers and sisters and of course he has some stuff he wants to hey, get off his Dominica, chest it's right around here. five o'clock and all right then. you know i can't sleep i woke up you know and um i chose to do this video because um i've been very uh, perturbed by my visit uh, to Dominica. <laughs> this is the worst I have seen. This is a Dominican speaking, okay, guys? I mentioned the analogy on my WhatsApp, brothers and sisters. Those of, those of you have my WhatsApp. Sometimes some of all you have my WhatsApp and all you doesn't message me. All you think all you can see. All you wouldn't see nothing. <laughs> you have to message me for me to be able to know. Get the dialogue for me to accept you so you can be, see my statuses and stuff. But are my statuses, brothers and sisters? I made it very clear on the understanding that they did an experiment with frogs. 
Now they put the frog, they, they have two different pots, right? So one pot was hot and the other one was cool. And they put the frogs in the water. Bow! The one that was in the hot water jump out. Boop! No, it's too hot. Alas! My back. You know, heat on me, brothers and sisters. I need to get out of here. But the one that was in the cold pot say, Oh, it's not too bad. No, it's cold and nice. Let me stay there, brothers and sisters. Now keep in mind, frogs are adaptive creatures. Just like human beings, don't you think so? Yes, indeed. Human beings are also adaptive creatures. Now that water that is cold, they lit it on fire, brothers and sisters, and it's getting warm. Now the frog being inside there doesn't know that the water is getting warmer and warmer and warmer. Because it's slowly adapting with its, its environment. Until to the point where when the frog realizes it is too hot because of the boiling pot, brothers and sisters, that it has now been or now become. And it tries to jump out, but it's too weak and too late to jump out, brothers and sisters. This is what brings us to the nature of the Caribbean. There are individuals from overseas coming into Dominica, seeing how Dominica is. Just imagine I've been with people, brothers and sisters, who are, we go out. Let's, for example, St. Lucia. I went with some of them fellas, the bikers and stuff. We went out St. Lucia for one week. And we came back, brothers and sisters. Some of them fellas checking, boy, look troubling me. <laughs> they checking, they wanted to stay longer. They should have stayed longer because it's like they feel depressed when they reach, brothers and sisters. Brothers and sisters, even when me and some of my family members fly and we come back to Dominica, we checking, boy. We check in, boy. <laughs> you feel the difference. Not even just the activities around, brothers and sisters. The aura of the nature of the cabin. You feel it. This is another individual who lives overseas and tends to come in from time to time. And he's saying, Dominica is the worst that he has ever seen. Now, this is a local living overseas that came back. This is a Dominican living states. Come back. The next reaction I'll be doing is from a foreigner. We entitle this video is the worst city in the Caribbean. Imagine that. Let's continue. My country, in terms of poverty and people um, <laughs> having a hard time, and um, and I, I decided to to do this video. I never see people that like poverty like that. I never see that in my life. Something is wrong. And, um, suffering not just financially but um, physically and mentally hmm. and it's very very disturbing some people are suffering in silence oh do you hear what I say there some people are suffering in silence boy you know what that is up there brothers and sisters when you are shackled in your mind but one thing is to be physically chained. There are people who have been physically chained, but they feel like they're free. Because they are not deterred upstairs. There are people who are free and shackling their mind, brothers and sisters. The mind is the greatest thing on planet Earth of a human being. is his mind, brothers and sisters. When they are able to trap your mind, mental slavery. That is all they need, brothers and sisters. It's very clear. For people who tend to be trenders and follow you you saw the fall you saw the fall before it happened you tell people it's going to fall but because they are like frogs in that cold pot they're checking boy everything fine and dandy look at where we are today some people don't even know it, they don't even know the difference even though they've seen it for themselves i came in <laughs> less than a week ago and um i must have seen about 15 people coming up to me for medical advice but <laughs> this is what bothers me people are walking around with dead legs <laughs> and um what do i mean by that folks are coming to me for miracles that i cannot <laughs> perform mm. and um but you know who can perform miracles the very prime minister all you voting for can do miracles for his family members. He will send them overseas to the best medical attention. And guess who will be paying for it? You! 
<laughs> yeah. and you go ahead in your own country and you expect them to do things for you in the medical field they're not doing it but you know much billions of dollars overseas to do all sorts of things they hosting dinners in dubai while you hear so fine how long will it take for people to understand man how long brothers and sisters how long it's problematic let me break it down mm. folks have end stage diseases of their foot <laughs> and their lower legs that i'm predicting most of them will lose their legs within the next six months to a year they're not supposed to lose their legs brothers and sisters this stuff could have been prevented just like the nurse who passed away as a result of what seemed to be neglect on a proper usage of a particular machine this girl is now gone she is gone and will never return do you understand how life is once you live this life regardless of neglect brothers and sisters once you live here there is no coming back all you don't understand that and all you have all labor and whatnot and all your hospital sucks the very hospital that can keep you alive or even keep your leg if there was proper resources and proper um, 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 um service oh. But taxes and all those things going up on you and you don't know where the money going you don't know and they don't understand what's going on oh. right um it's profound the, the the ignorance about what's what's relevant especially when it comes to diabetes mm. and that's a huge problem Brothers and sisters, I don't think in the nature of the garb when we're supposed to have diabetes. This is the other thing that I find very interesting. We call ourselves the nature of the Caribbean. And we have all sorts of diseases that can be prevented from the herbs that we have. Or it can at least help to alleviate the issues. Nobody seems to be studying things. We go and take all sorts of things from all over the place. Don't know what it have. But this is why it's vital, you know. Because it seems like, especially some of our nurses and doctors, they just, oh, that is what they're prescribing for people overseas. Let us use it. Where is the research team in Dominica to say, hey, this is good for us and this is not good for us? Or let us utilize the herbs and remedies that we have. N where? But this is always this day and age in advancement of medical. Boy, I, I don't understand that, you know. In the advancement of medical supplies and medicine in itself, we are one of the weakest, brothers and sisters, back in the day, medicine. You know, Oh my goodness, let me continue. If you go to the hospital, I would really like to know how many amputees are there. Hmm. You know, how many young patients are getting their legs amputated, hmm. or their toes, or their foot, and what kind of diet they're on. That's a good thing. I think a lot of, not, not one of the problems that we have in today's eight, the and eight brothers and sisters in a land that is full of water we lack drinking water and not just drinking water you know brothers and sisters because i don't even trust the pipe water we have things like sous water where you can go and collect water and boil the water in, which will be free from chlorine and fluoride which will be free from these things so we wouldn't have to worry about these things you go out there you get your sous water if you want to boil it if you don't want to boil it what not you strain it to avoid any trees or stones coming inside there. Boom, you boil your water, you put your water on the fridge or you leave it out there so you can drink the warm water, the, the, the te room temperature water. And that he rehydrates the water. But this is our bodies make up of a, a lot of percentage of water. I think it's 70%, brothers and sisters. 70% of water and we're not drinking water. Water can alleviate a lot of the issues that we have, you know. You know how powerful water is? Oh, do your research. Hmm. Water can heal you from cancer, you know, you know that? There's such a lack of education, right? We can say, let's have a health day, right? For example, and walk up the road. Exercise. And morbid obesity is a problem that we're not addressing. So As you say that day, guys, I remember, some of you guys remember the video I did with the elderly white folks. May their soul rest in peace. They will teach me about, you know, life and relationships and this kind of things. And he mentioned to me four W's. 
One of them is walking, exercising. One of them is water. You need water. Wine, brothers and sisters. And the other one was a good woman. <laughs> that is what they, they, they... I will never forget that, brothers and sisters. You need these things. Especially in life, man. It's a good start, but it's not enough. Right? We can say, let's go walk for cancer. Mm. Right? Let's walk for lupus. Yeah. But that's not enough. Nope. I never understood that. Yes, you are making it aware. That's the only reason why I understand walking. You're making it aware. But how do we solve these things? Oh, we walk in great. That's nice. How do you solve these things? You walk in to make it aware. Well, are they, are they going to be doing research? Are they going to be finding remedies to alleviate the, the, the... Are we going to look through the herbs, brothers and sisters, to see how we can solve these problems? No, but we walk in. Yes, walk, brothers. Walk in, man. Walk. All right. right. Walk still. I some people. Show me the pills, the tablets, what we call them. They don't know the names. I said I cannot identify things based on color. <laughs> All right? So some of them have the packaging that I can go through and read and net explain to them. One person said to me, thank you. This is the most anyone have explained to me. Imagine he come from overseas and somebody in Dominica with the hospitals that that person most likely gone to, ha has gone to, is now telling him who came from overseas that they have provided, that he has provided adequate information. The most. So what does that tell you about those in the hospital? Huh? Mediocrity starts at the top, brother and sister, and it trickles its way down. One of the reasons what flabbergasts me to this day is the Minister of Education, brothers and sisters. That, that, if that don't flabbergast you. <laughs> nothing will, <laughs> nothing. You know, I have Boy. to say, this, this is your blood pressure Boy. medicine. This one can affect your heart rate. This is a water pill that will make you pee. You have to check your pressure. You have to have a diary, right? People are walking around with black foot, <laughs> right? Like, very little blood flow to these legs, right? Some have venostasis disease, right? Venous ulcers. Some have arterial diseases to the foot. Brothers and sisters, tell me if what is happening in Dominica is not intentional. Is what is happening in Dominica not intentional? You can't tell me we have so much billions of dollars overseas to put some things in place. How on, boy? I don't understand all you. I don't understand all you. And um, young people, <laughs> people who are my age and younger, and people do not understand. We have a problem here. As you know, much people I knew who I went to college with. I went to primary school with who I went to high school with these people are no longer alive today and I know if there was better medical attention today <sighs> I can think of one particular one brothers and sisters Lisa from Portsmouth man she should have been alive today and the, and, and, and the poverty Mm. compounds the problem poverty folks are not working there's pockets of employment that's not enough the economy is in a free fall <laughs> there is such stagnation in Dominica and I say how can young people survive in Dominica so when I tell people they need to leave when family members ask me, Mr. Lis, what can we do? Leave. Leave. If you know how well and your child has a good mind on their shoulders, and you say you have to put up your house for collateral, well, not collateral, but you have to put up your house as, as a surety to send your little ones to school, get that money going so your little one can end up getting a job in the United States or somewhere, brothers and sisters, UK. I know a number of persons who actually went from Cuba jamaica and they're in bigger countries now because they elevated beyond that they saved up and so forth and so forth parents helping and what have you and they elevate so that they can make these funds the bigger funds and send down to you to pay off this stuff and get a better opportunity to then bring you up even later on after some years brothers and sisters 
Because the best way to elevate in Dominica now is to leave. That is the best. Brothers, tell, tell me I lie. Somebody let me know I'm lying and tell me how. Tell me how. Because I've seen people in Dominica go ahead and struggling. Trying their best to do what they can with what the economy has given them as a result of the prime ministers that the people vote for. They didn't make it. Did they go overseas one, two years, three years. They don't little whine in themselves because they have to figure things out. One particular one in New York, she met me and said five years she was struggling. But today, she living the best life she has ever done. She went up with the Dominican mentality, brothers and sisters. But that quickly changed when she realized, hey, something needs to be done. I need to do better for myself. And she's doing pretty well today. And I know that story is for a number of people. This is not a mistake, you know, brothers and sisters. This is why I ask the question is, what is happening in Dominica? Intentional. Is it being intentionally done to the people? And the closest thing I can think of, I can say yes. Most likely it's been, in, been done intentional because when you look at what the global leaders and, you know, got the government of Dominica has indicated that they are aligned with the global leaders. And the global leaders in 1D 2030 agenda to what? For the people to own nothing, brothers and sisters. When the Prime Minister them building houses for people because people can't do for themselves. And you cannot own these houses. This is part of the plan. And people not see that, but that's amazing. All these shows and smoking mirrors they try to put up to mm -hmm. say that things the people are good. Distracted. It's not good in Dominica. It's, it's bad. It's terrible. It's the worst I have seen in oh. Dominica. Brothers and sisters, my sweet Picard. I was having a conversation when I... Boy. Oh my God. I was having a conversation a few days ago, brothers and sisters, with a particular individual. And that individual was telling me how things was in Dominica, boy. And they used to come down and they used to leave a particular place and come to Picard and vacation. Man used to come down Postmouth and vacation me. Guess what? When you hear man want to take vacation, they grand bay or wherever they come out, they coming down to Portsmouth. You think you can do that? No. I just show a girl we used to have um 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 thing um a water park in Portsmouth, brothers and sisters. We have fun climbing up on things, sliding down, jumping in tea. Where that go? Mero had one the other day, brothers. Where that go? It breaks my heart. You know what I mean? It breaks my heart, and and the government. It's time that they get a heart. I'm, 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 I'm pulling on straws here. They get a heart. The government, they're making money for themselves and you want them to get a heart. Isn't the people are the ones who supposed to say, hey guys, you guys don't doing things for us. Let's change. No. They're allowing themselves to be duped. <laughs> and now you want to plead with the government because the people are broken so badly that you praying for the government to get a heart. Guess I what? Boy. Boy. It's, I'm pulling on straws. Boy. It's time they have a heart Boy. to say, you know what? Boy. We failed this country. Boy. Let's give somebody else a chance. They will never do that. <laughs> because they know there's a possibility they will end up in jail. They have to protect themselves. Oh. Let's see. Let's see how we can come out of this mess. Dominica is naturally beautiful. I go around, I eat the food, I, oh. I, 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 I enjoy the, the fruits and the vegetables the and, the, and the, the fauna and the flora and the landscapes. Oh. And, but that's just one thing. That's what oh. Dominica is. Because Dominica standing on its own. Dominica literally sustains its people. And the interesting thing about sustaining its people for their own survival, the people don't even care to help it sustain them. <laughs> when you watch the rivers drying, brothers and sisters, you don't think in the next 15 years Dominica going to be under drought? You remember just the other day, there, brothers and sisters, we had a drought in Dominica. <laughs> we had a drought in the na nature island of the Caribbean that flows with 365 rivers. We had a drought, we that was like a, about two or three years ago, brothers and sisters, if I remember correctly. Or a bit long time before a bit before that. We had drought we when they complain, even these people I'm well, dumb like or whatever complaining that there's water shortage. Boy. Man don't want to build trees around rivers so the, 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 the sun wouldn't evaporate the rivers, the rivers will build up a little bit better. You know, the waters will fall, the trees will trap the waters and make sure it stays 
longer before it gets evaporated. Deforestation taking place around rivers. And we see the rivers going down and we don't see nothing. Our own survival we don't want to we, 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 we don't want to preserve. What about the core of the people? The sustainability of the people. That is what is lacking. And it's getting worse. People are sick. People have no money. They go for x-ray. It's X amount of money. They go for an ultrasound. It's so much more money. Boy. And people are not working. People not working. They have to constantly beg. Brothers and sisters, I used to talk about the breadcrumb mentality or the breadcrumb environment that has been given. Man eating bread and they give you the breadcrumbs and you think you get something because they keep you hungry for so long that getting breadcrumbs will feel like heaven. My goodness, today, not even breadcrumbs you can get. Or they promise you $800 a month. You're happy to get a little increase and they give you $500 and you cannot complain. You have to send salad message for people and then people have to send it to me. Oh, hi. To see if you can get out there so at least something can be done. You stay in silent, suffering in silence. And you don't want to say nothing. And you expect me, just me, to come and say, hey, I'm talking on video. Yay! Brothers and sisters, not everything will happen if it's not collectively done. You know, you know that? If I'm just the only one speaking about something just because the outside and the overseas people get to see it and they try their best to see, okay, let us curtail this because we don't want the overseas people to think that is real. That has happened before on my videos. It doesn't always happen all the time. This is why you need a collective of people to speak, not just me. Not just Dr. Dangdoblen. Not just um, 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 Lofty. Brothers, are you serious? Not just Matt putting things out there? Where Angelo Allen? I need Angelo Allen to start YouTube, you know. Brothers and sisters, get, link me with Angelo Allen. I don't know if he does videos or, or what, he, what, what, the, the man does, the man, boy. Brothers and sisters, Angelo Allen need to come back, eh? Let's continue. It's a failed system. Who doesn't like me for this, for speaking the truth to power because I love my country? This is not about party politics. <laughs> That's your problem if you don't like me. They own the mice we they look into. You're trying to help them and say, hey, last things are needed in the hospital. There are people walking around with black foot. Blood not properly circling their leg. They might end up losing their legs. And they're still making noise with you. Brothers and sisters, I think I'll end it there. We pretty much get the whole point. I will never forget the bus drivers. And I will always mention that. Bus drivers protesting for betterment in the nature of the Caribbean for themselves. Bus drivers protesting against the same bus drivers for their benefit. Tell me something is not wrong with human beings, brother and sister. Tell me. Tell me. An interesting thing, you don't just see that in Dominica. But another person say, oh, but it happened overseas. Well, it shouldn't happen here. Let it happen overseas. Why should it happen here? Shop your dirty ways, brothers and sisters. Unless this is a human problem. It is your boy Miss Slicks on this here BRBPTV, guys. If you understand this video, click the thumbs up button. I would appreciate it. Of course, helping the algorithm to push this video further and further. When you click the like button, so definitely click the thumbs up button. Click the like button, guys. And of course, subscribe and turn on that post notification so you can get the latest vibrations when they tend to come through right there. Tune in for the next one, brothers and sisters. I was going to do live interaction. I need to do a live interaction, brothers and sisters, of the United Workers thing. So hopefully tomorrow, I hopefully I get to do that right there. Um, so look out for that, brothers and sisters. Live interaction later on in the day. Hopefully that happens. But when I come in, when I come in, in the way. Oh, yeah. So oh, I can probably. Anyways, yeah. Look, hopefully I can do it tomorrow, brothers and sisters. In that regard, right there. What are your thoughts, guys? If your thoughts in the comment box below. These are just my thoughts. Let me know yours as well, brothers and sisters. In the comment box below. Don't forget to subscribe as well. Click the subscribe button, click all, and then click no click subscribe, click the bell, and then click all to be notified when I drop my videos right there. You'll be notified, brothers and sisters. And that vibrations, of course, helping the channel to grow further and further in that regard. So my mistakes once again, guys. Be real. Be positive. Tune in for the next reaction video. That link will be in the first comment in the comment box below.